ko, Yuri May Amisidro, a nursing student from Turlock State University. And today, I am going to perform Enema Administration. So, Enema Administration is a technique used to um, stimulate stool evacuation. It is a um, treatment used to relieve um, severe constipation. Also, it is a management used to aid cleansing, carminative, um, return flow and resistance so or retention rather so after that this procedure needs to undergo steps such as the assessment the planning the implementation and the evaluation for the assessment first is we need to check our patient's condition and then we need to ask several questions for our patient that will be relevant throughout the procedure so Hi ma'am, good day po. May I ask some questions po for you? So, una po ma'am, when is the last time po na nag-defecate po kayo or tumai po kayo? So, last 5 days po. So, sa pagtain nyo po na yun, can I ask po ma'am kung gaano po karami? So, sakto lang po. Can I ask po the color po ma'am, yung kulay po? So, brownish to black. So, the consistency po, ma'am, from hard to liquidy. So, medyo matigas po. Also, ma'am, can I ask you po if there are presence po of abdominal retention? Okay po. Also po, ma'am, can I ask po if um, yung sphincter nyo po, ma'am, if you urge to poop po, pag natatai po ba kayo, napipigilan nyo naman po ba? Opo. So, lastly po, ma'am, can I ask you po if you have the ability po to go to the bathroom? Kaya nyo po bang pumunta sa banyo? Or mas gusto nyo pong mag-commode na lang po tayo? So, commode po. So, after that, we will now proceed on the planning. So, for the planning, first is we need to make sure that the patient doesn't acquire any kidney or cardiac disease. So, ma'am, pwede ko po bang itanong kung wala po kayong kidney disease? Wala po. Cardiac disease po. Wala po. So, those um, diseases are contraindicated to the enema administration. So, the patient doesn't acquire that. So, we can proceed. And now, we need to check the doctor's order as for the request for enema. So, based on our patient condition, the patient acquires the difficulty to defecate. So, enema will help the patient to defecate way faster. So, after that, we need to gather all of the equipments that are to be used throughout the procedure. So, we need to have our waterproof um, linen pad, our bath towel. We also need to have our commode. We need to have our um, tissue paper or napkin. And then, we need to have our enema solution set. So, we need to have... We also need to have our lubricant. And then, we need to have our um, appropriate enema solution with appropriate amount and appropriate um, temperature. So, also, we need to have gloves for appropriate protective measures. So, after gathering all of the equipment, we can now proceed on the implementation. So, for the implementation, First is, we need to lubricate the rectal tube. So, we will lubricate the rectal tube for approximately 5 cm. So, after lubricating it, we will now test the tubing. So, in here, we will open the clamp. So, we will open the clamp to release a large amount of um, solution volume to expel the presence of the air. So, in here, we will expel the air. And once the air is already expelled on the tubing, we will close the clamp. So, after that, we will um, proceed on establishing rapport on our patient. So, in here, we will introduce ourselves to our patient, verify our patient's identity, and explain to our patient why do we need to conduct this procedure. So, good day ma'am. I am Koyuri May Amisidro po. You're a student nurse for today and I will be the one po ma'am who will gonna conduct the enema administration. To verify your identity ma'am, can I ask for your name? Yes ma'am, Ayana. So, can I also look at your wristlet po? 
So, it states here po that your name is Ayana Naku. Sex, female, bed number 2. Date of birth po is December 5, 1998. Is that true po, ma'am? Okay po. So, ma'am, we are going to perform inima administration po. So, inima po is used to um, stimulate stool evacuation. Based on your condition po, ma'am, you have difficulty to... Um, defecate po. So, nahihirapan po kayong tumae. So, by the use of the inima po, it will fasten your um, defecation process po. So, papabilisin po niya. Parang if a flush out po niya yung mga stools inside your body. So, ma'am, also po, when the solution is already in your body po, fullness may be filled, may be felt, and it is normal po, ma'am. So, you can cooperate po by positioning yourself po. And later po, a little discomfort may be felt. So, just tell us po. And I assure you po that privacy and professionalism will be performed throughout the procedure. Is that okay with you po, ma'am? Yes po. So, after that, we will provide our patient's privacy by closing the doors and the curtains so that our client will be more comfortable and secured as we perform the assessment. And then, we will perform hand hygiene technique. So, after performing the other steps a while ago, I've already I've already performed hand washing. So, sanitizing my hand now will be okay. It will reduce the cross-contamination between the nurse and the patient. So, after that, we will now start... Um, preparing our patient. So, we will prepare our patient. So, ma'am, may I start preparing you na po? So, we will prepare our patient by first exposing the area that will be um, assessed or exposing the area where the procedure will be performed. So, in here, we will expose the buttocks area of the patient. So, next is we will put the waterproof linen pads below the patient's waist. So, ma, may I ask you po to move on this side po? Okay po. So, move po kayo dyan. And then, we will put po the water-soluble linen pad below your waist. And then, move on this side of the bed po, ma'am. Okay. So, once the linen pad is already secured, we will now position our patient into a um, left lateral position. And then, make sure that the right leg of the patient is that the right leg of the patient is flexed and then we will drape the patient to provide comfort and privacy. So in here, we need to make sure that the area wherein um, the procedure will be performed is only the area that will be exposed. So it is the buttocks area of the patient. So after positioning our patient, now is the time for us to insert the um, enema tubing. So. We will insert the rectal tube onto the patient's rectum. We will lift the upper buttocks of the patient and then we need to gently insert approximately 7 to 10 centimeters of the tube on the rectum of the patient going to the umbilicus. So when the enema, so enema tubings are already inserted and then when there are resistance found, make sure to um, open the clamp and then release small amount of fluid and then close it. So, if there are still resistance, you need to make sure that there are no presence of stool on your patient. And then if there are any, make sure to flush it away before proceeding to the um, administration. So, if retention or if resistance rather is still exhibited, you need to make sure not to force the entry of the tubing as well as the solution on the patient. In here, you need to end the procedure and notify the primary care provider immediately. So, since resistance is not noted to our patient, we can now proceed on administering the slow enema on our patient. So, in here, we need to hang the enema solution. So, we will hang the enema solution. And then, we need to open the clamp to administer slow rate of um, 
solution on our patient. So, we will open the clam. So, the solution will just um, flow through the tubings going to the rectum of the patient. And then, we need to make sure that for very low enema, the solution must be 30 centimeters above the rectum. And for um, high enema, the solution must be 45 centimeters above the rectum. So, make sure that when the patient verbalize that, Ma'am, pakiramdam ko po, full na po ako. Make sure to um, close the clamp and then make sure to wait for 30 seconds until you open it again with a more slower rate. So, after several minutes of slow rate administration and your patient is already full or if the solution is already instilled um, and the patient verbalizes that mom i can't handle it anymore na po i think i'm uh, i will defecate soon na po so in that we need now to remove the um rectal tubing on our patient by the use of a um disposable um napkins and then we will remove it gently and then make sure to um, place it properly to discard it later. So, after that, we need to encourage our patient to retain the solution. So, ma'am, can you retain the solution po for a while? Okay po. So, for, for the cleansing, um, for cleansing, we need to recommend our patient to retain it for approximately 5 to 10 minutes. And for retention, we need to uh, encourage our patient to return it or to retain it for 30 minutes. And then, after several minutes, we can now assist our patient to defecate. So, ma'am, are you okay na po or are you ready na po to defecate? I will help you po with the use of the commode po. Okay po. So, here is the commode po, ma'am. I will assist you po into a sitting position. So, we will assist the patient into a sitting position and then wait until the patient is already done. So, when the patient is already done defecating, we will now assist our patient going back to bed. And then, we need to make sure that the physis, we will inspect its characteristics. So, we will inspect the color, the consistency, and the amount. So, after inspecting it, we will now help the patient to clean up. So, ma'am, do you want po, do you want po to help, um, do you want po to clean on your own or do you want me po to help you clean po? So, I will clean you na lang po. So, in here, we will perform perineal care to the patient. So, we will flush perineal solution on the buttocks part of the patient. So, we will make sure to flush the solution on the buttocks area of the patient and between the folds and then we need to make sure that the um, liquid directly flows on the water soluble um, pad going to the bed pan below the bed so we will clean it so by the use of a bath mat we will clean the buttocks area of the patient making sure that the different areas of the towel will be used for the different areas of the buttocks so make sure to follow the rule of seven so cleanest to dirtiest then other area cleanest to dirtiest then other area cleanest to dirtiest and then make sure to discard it properly and then make sure to thoroughly dry the buttocks area of the patient to prevent the um, growth of bacteria because moisture will um, initiate the growth of microorganisms or the bacteria. So after that, we need to take note that when we are administering enema on patients that are incontinent, we need to make sure that when the tubing is already inserted on the rectum of the patient, we need to assist them to change into a supine position wherein their heads must be slightly elevated so that it will administer a more um, good way to properly breathe. So, also, we need to take note that when we are administering um, 
return flow in Nima, we need to make sure that the solution must instill through the rectum going to the sigmoid colon of the patient. Also, we need to make sure that slow rate of solution will flow back from the um, rectum going to the container and it will exhibit flatus. So, we need to repeat it for approximately 5 to 6 times until the feces will be um, more thicker. So, after that, we will now help our patient into a position of comfort and then we will perform aftercare to the patient. So, ma'am, I will help you po to position yourself and I will clean up po. So, we will remove po the... Um, the wet pad po. So, move on your side po and then we will remove it po making sure to discard it clean side out and then discard and then we will help the patient into a position of comfort and then we will drape and cover our patient. So, ma'am, are you comfortable na po in your position? Okay po. And after that, we need to perform after care on the equipments that are used. So, we need to make sure that the equipment will be placed on their proper placement. So, after that, for the evaluation, we need to document all of the findings based on the procedure that was performed. So, we need to document the um, amount and the um, enema solution that is used. We need to document the retention time of the patient. We need to document the characteristics of the urine such as the color, consistency, and the amount. And then we also need to document if there are any um, relief for flatus and if there are any abdominal um, abdominal um, if there are any abdominal um, retention on the patient. So that ends the um, enema administration to the patient.